Hey guys, so here's something I wish I knew how to achieve a long time ago. To those of you who don't know, Guitar Pro is a line of music software that's mainly geared towards teaching and learning guitar, but it can also be used to instruct on other instruments. Uh, now because of the way it handles music notation and playback, it's actually a great tool for music composition as well. You can jot down the notes or in case you can't read staves, you can use tab notations for guitar. It actually allows you to write music for any instrument as if it were a guitar. So it's easier to get a bit more technical in Guitar Pro than in a DAW because you're not constricted to a piano roll. So you have full control over time measures, tempo, arrangements, etc. So it's much easier to do stuff like modulating or experimenting with modes. Um, Guitar Pro being a teacher slash learning software actually has stuff built in that will help you compose because what you use for deconstructing a song and learning it is the same as what you use to construct or compose a different song basically. Now Guitar Pro has its own sound engine, it's called RSC, Realistic Sound Engine, and herein lies its limitations. It's not a DAW, basically. It uses its own instruments bank for you to addition whatever you input on the staves, and it has its own like sound effects and pedals library to mimic what a guitar playing those things might sound like in a real environment. Um, in their dry state, the sounds here don't sound that great. Some instruments actually sound pretty bad, uh, like these strings. Are not great, but if you learn your way around it, you can actually make some really cool and unique things. Um, Interrogation soundtrack, for example, is fully made in Guitar Pro actually, and not all of it sounds bad. actually pull off some specific sounds very well if they fit your creative bill for a specific song. Now, if you need new sounds, or if you need VSTs, or if you need any decent mixing or any mastering capability at all, uh, you'd have to use a DAW. Uh, the long way for that would be to export the tracks from Guitar Pro individually, then export uh, the MIDI data associated with each track, load everything in your DAW, and basically re-thread the song. But there is actually a way to link Guitar Pro with your DAW and get the best of the two worlds while still composing. Uh, first of all, you need to download Loop MIDI. It's a free software, you can google for it, or you can use the link in the description. Then once you install it, you open it up and you add a port by clicking this here button. I've got some already added. Uh, now you go back to Guitar Pro and you switch the desired track from using the RSC to MIDI, uh, like this. You're then gonna forward this MIDI data via one of the ports added by Loop MIDI. So take note of the channel number here. Now you're gonna go to your DAW, I'm using Ableton, add a MIDI track if you don't have one, and select its input from the Loop MIDI channel, like this. Then just add whatever instrument you want to the track. Uh, and don't forget to arm the track. If you're going back now and hitting play on Guitar Pro, the sound will actually be produced by Ableton. You can modify the sound there, add effects, car frequencies, like just go crazy. You can do all of the composing in Guitar Pro and use all of its sweet quality of life tools, but addition your song with the top of the line VSTs on the fly live. Well, Ableton Live. Uh, when you're done composing, you just export the audio and the MIDI data you need from Guitar Pro. You can export it from here. Uh, 
uh, load it up in your DAW and then proceed mixing and mastering. There are some apparent limitations to this technique, like for example sidechain compressing the audio output across the two software. You could compress the sound output by your DAW by just doubling the tracking guitar pro as a MIDI, setting that MIDI info to a track in your DAW and using that as a trigger for your sidechain compression. But you can't do it the other way around because Guitar Pro basically can't do sidechain side chain compression at all. Uh, another issue would be uh, sample erroring in your DAW. Um, but this one is easier to figure out. You just need to transform your sample into an instrument and then use a MIDI sent from your Guitar Pro to your DAW to trigger the sample whenever you want it in your composition. Uh, so yeah, this is it. If you have any questions, I'll try to reply in the comments if I know the answer. Cheers!